that's the elevation. That's why. That's why we want. We. That's why I say you're not gonna find Jay Z. You're not gonna find Diddy at no dice game. You're not gonna find Drake at no dice you're game. Above that, bro. As, at a certain point, you gotta realize I'm above this shit, and it don't matter. Like you might, it might feel like home because that's where you come from. But at a certain point, you gotta say you gotta elevate above that shit, and and that's I think that's the fatal flaw in all of that, and that's when. And in that situation, I didn't see them with no security. I didn't see them with right because they was the one influence that mm-hmm. they was being protected, protected. by mob mm-hmm. ties. And- yeah, so they had no, and that's why you, your security got to be on point. It can't just be homeboy security services. Hmm. It can't just be that. It just got to be on some shit where you know. First of all, your security is gonna advise you. It's gonna tell you. Maybe we shouldn't be over here. This is not if they're credible enough, yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. That's that's what having if you if you got the money to do that, your security gonna tell you, maybe we don't like we don't like being over there. Yeah, because no ex military dude yeah. or ex cop. Because that they, like, like, they assess like, the situation. It's very lucrative, like, like yeah. no. Mm-hmm. Especially if you got something to mm-hmm. lose. Because mm-hmm. yeah, you got a lot to lose. Now look, now you did. You don't have a will. Now your daddy, who never fuck with you, he said, "Oh shit, my son." Right, because that's what's going on now. They're fighting over mm-hmm. who's going to inherit most yeah. of. Who's going to get what? And then legally, amount. yeah, legally, I'm the dad. I like that's my who? son. <laughs> <laughs> Without me, that would be him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do you beat you that? Now this nigga gonna come out of woodwork. Hey, like she. Uh. There's my there's my time to shine. You feel me? So, How do you beat that though? Without me, that wouldn't be him. So, <laughs> don't matter what y'all got going on. Mm-hmm. It don't matter. Like if your shit, if you don't write that shit down and say, do not give this shit to this person. The law look at everybody the same way. Same way. Mm-hmm. So that that's the fucked up part of it. But I don't think nobody should be in that situation. I don't think like, and a lot of like you said, not even just. Take off Quavo, uh, not Quavo shit, PMB Rock. Because to me, I feel like every rapper, mm-hmm. especially if you're mainstream and popping enough, you should have some type of legal security. Yeah. But again, you know, hip hop can be very, very fake at times. You know, we all want to portray this strict yeah, and, image, but. And you can't really fault the dead. It's you, not really a strict image in the form of, you know, most rappers want to look tough. Mm hmm. You know, if they could get around and just, you know, play on your intellect that they're this big, bad, and tough rapper without security, it's going to boost the ticket sales. Mm-hmm. It's going to boost more people want to listen to them. Because and, you, you, and, you and put not, on a, it's a facade. Right. Like and as of right now, most of the people that are going to jail are straight dudes. Mm-hmm. No. Like, they're not. rapping about what they're doing. Nah, the, the real people who be re- doing the work don't be talking about it in anything, right? And it's like if you if you people come from hood, like mm-hmm. you can be from like the worst part of town, that doesn't make you a street person. And there's a reason why you work. Like a lot of these rappers, there's a reason why they, they grind so hard to get out of that situation to get this money. So why why not in, it's like in security is like investment. You're investing in yourself. It's like insurance. I'm paying this money, X amount of money every month. I know that I'm, I'm gonna be covered. So if you don't got that going on, then what are you doing at the end of the day? That's how I look at it. So, like with, it's, it's been like this year. It was PMB Rock. It was Take Off. Take Off. It was I don't even know who else. It was uh like Juan Rondo's buddy, who. But why put yourself in these situations if you're making money? And and I really don't think that because we know these folks is not as tough as they as they as they as they say they are. So why do you have to portray a certain image that that you're not? Hmm. And nobody's invincible. At the end of the day, nobody's invincible. Like I I get the point where you get on Instagram, you flex your money, you do this, you do that. But when you get on, when you start with the social media, I, oh, 
don't I, like I'm not the one. Don't play with me. I got this. I got that. I'm 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 pull up. I'm do this. I'm do that. And that's not what P and B did. But actually, that's why he what because he we Cause, seen a video that, with Buddy. He was like you know they was going back and forth on. There was Instagram live that the one video, but I don't think they they caught the for P and B. I'm not quite sure. I just knew he was at a fast food joint called and Roscoe up. Chicken and Ruffles. Mm -hmm. I seen the video, but they haven't. It hasn't come out yet that that was the person who was responsible for for what happened to him. Right? Well, it was a a son and his father, and it's it's like family pretty much. Son, mom, and dad. What I seen was it was somebody he was beefing with on live, and he was like, "Oh, I'm in Atlanta, this, that." Was, right, that's yeah, separate. Yeah. But what originally happened is a son, mm -hmm. mom, and dad got charged for the murder of. Yeah, really? I mm -hmm. didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. See, I see. Like, I don't keep up. It with was it. the family just trying? Because at the end, at the end of the day, that's the hood. Because mm -hmm. they're looking at you like, man, who is this fresh dude, chain glistening, while I am broke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, trying to figure out my next meal. And then just, just so we're clear, and that should never be a, a reason why you take somebody's life because you broke and then somebody got it. Obviously. Yeah, that should never be a reason. So. Like that, I don't stand by. It, but at the end of the day, is it's it's like a double edged sword where you know what you got and you have to protect what you got, mm -hmm. and you can't just be out there in these people's face flashing what you got and mm -hmm. they don't got it. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta keep your head on the swivel at all times, mm -hmm. and you gotta keep that about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, more of the story, rapper shit. Hire your legal authority to. Yeah, don't go nowhere by yourself, bro. Don't feel like, oh, I'm a red. I'm still a. You know, you still want to feel like a regular nigga. Mm -hmm. You like, I'm a, I'm a regular nigga. I can go wherever I want. I don't go to Roscoe's by yourself, bro. If you do, don't go with everything all. Of, you know, all just imagine, bro. Mm -hmm. A straight dude in a hood mm -hmm. looking at you like a whole lick. Yeah. <laughs> And like, man, look at this nigga, man. And but, that, you know, and I'm not throwing no shots at nobody. Mm -hmm. You know, just playing devil's advocate, you know? And most of this situations happen in the hood where the, the less fortunate are, are at. Yeah. And they're looking at you like, look at this dude, fresh. And, and have these niggas, bro. You know, money, jewelry. Like, I could rob him right now and be yeah. up. And that's instant. All, that's all they're thinking about. They're not even instant. they're not thinking about no jail time. They're not thinking They're not they're thinking not, about nothing. Nothing. They're just like, I see the bread, I see the flash in front of it's my It's right eyes. here, that's like, a, like yeah, that's right. A lick. Like that's I'm a looking at lick. this. That's a walking lick, so I'm gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not gonna catch me lacking like that. And you can't blame the dead for for getting for dying. You can't blame nobody for dying, but like not nah, at the end of the day, you gotta, you know, you gotta think about it at all times.